Now Crash is supposed to get out of the plane. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah, I ran out of Crash 1 commercials. Oh my god. Now we enter uh, a gimmick that is rather short lived for the. Yes, that was it. Oh my god. <laughs> you saw how close I was to dying there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But yeah, this is a short-lived gimmick, uh, and like, there are only two darkness levels in Crash 2, and one darkness level in Crash Warped, and I don't think any darkness levels ever appeared in Crash Wrath of Cortex, or Not any of the GBAs. Yeah, I don't remember anything in Wrath of Cortex. Also for GBAs, like, then again, it, it'll be like, you'd have to, you'd need to do the circle thing, where you could just still, like, barely see, like, of the level in front of you, so yeah. Yeah, it's just like, it's one of those the gimmicks that they tried making it a staple, but just, uh, it just didn't work out. Like, mm -hmm. in terms of the environment, I do think, uh, I do think, like, uh, Lights Out and, uh, Fumbling in the Dark, the, it, like, nails the, like, environment of a darkness level right. It's just, there's this sense of, there's this, like, sense of, uh, sense of fear with it. Where it's just like you gotta be careful. But I still die. Good job. Yeah. Why do you like having Crash scream like that? <laughs> I just love that vine. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just like, eh, 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 just like, eh. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, uh, it's just like, uh, I, I think, uh, like, four, like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Well, you could just barely see the platforms, let's be fair. Actually, I, okay, I don't die. Yeah, like I said, you could just barely see the platforms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One. Where were you missing one? It, uh, it's probably, uh, it's probably in the gem pathway. Anyways, welcome to Jaws of Darkness. Okay. And don't worry, I do not screw up the one thing with the Cortex token. I just screw up the Cortex stage. Fortunately, it's not that hard to get to, like, since it <sighs> So that's why they made Sunset Vista be as late as it was? Yeah, because Sunset Vista was much harder than Slippery Climb. Like, in terms of location where Slippery Climb is, it does not make sense. Like, I like Sunset Vista. Yeah, but location here. But at least Sunset Vista is close to this stage. And in fact, this stage and uh, Temple Ruins were right next to each other at one point. Hmm. I do wonder if there were any, like, uh, prototypes that came before, or, like, before the E3, uh, prototype, or at least, like, uh, sometime after the, uh, like, the April prototype or something. Mm. I mean, if any still exist, uh, it'd be nice to see, uh, see what other, like, what other changes the stages went through. Because at the time of this recording, we do know that the August 5th uh, prototype of uh, Crash Team Racing is still being uh, is still being hacked to like to make all the stages playable. What what is are they working? Are they trying to recompile a dump or something? Yeah, because they the so far the re a recent video from them showed the early hub worlds. Where it actually showed some of the early effects of the uh, warp pads, including yeah. some early numbers. So, what are they hacking it into the into the re into a release ROM, or are they literally just trying to recompile everything from the so from the source they found? They're trying to make sh like they're essentially trying to get uh, get the uh, uh, get the uh, like the prototype uh, have uh, the stages that are in the like. Have it so that they're playable. 
Also, uh, what? Yeah, you saw there. Whenever I tried to pick up another mask, it just won't pick up, and I just get sprinkled with. Uh... You're gonna wait, or oh, never mind. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do not make it to this one section of boxes with the mask, so I do not get the satisfaction of just running my face into these uh, into these boxes. But hey, I get the satisfaction of doing this. This. Ahaha. There we go. And you want ASMR right here, or catharsis, or however you put it? It's catharsis. Well, the sound of crash breaking, uh, the sound of a crate breaking in Crash uh, Bandicoot is ASMR at this point. <laughs> Why did I think about uh, just having a mechanical keyboard that every time, every time you like? Uh, Tap a tap one of those mechanical like mechanical keys. It, it the sound that comes from those keys is a crate breaking. Mm. <laughs> it's just imagine you're just typing, you're just hearing a bunch of crates breaking. <laughs> it just it, it would it would just be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, yeah, as the- that- that snake right there is, uh, basically to tell you that you need to jump on it and not, uh, spin into it. Because if you spun into it, guess what? That- that Cortex token's going bye-bye. Yep. <laughs> but that one buffoon in the distance to tell you th that there's a plat pathway there. Uh yeah, you can take the you can take the lower one first to make it easier. What? But here we are, the second and last uh, Gore-Tex stage. Let's see how let's see how easy I fail it. Three, two, uh, one. You overshoot the second cray. How dare you, Giga? <laughs> Also, I... Lazao. I just read that on the on the Japanese text. Ah, Lazao, the great grandfather to Zhao. It's all part of my fanfiction. So first we have Lazo, and now we have Lazao. Lazao. <laughs> okay, Lazao sounds like a fictional version of Tommy Wiseau. Jimmy Lazao. He made the movie The Generator Room. The Generator Room. <laughs> what? Did you think I said the Degenerator Room? That's the Generator Room. I did not hit her. I did not. This is bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Coco. I mean, I play this game enough to uh, know its secrets. Yep. And, um, and the life still survives. Yeah. Too bad you can't enjoy those. Womp of uh. Well. Uh, what, what do you mean those? What do you mean those womp of fruit? Are you talking about a certain part? Yep. For fuck's sakes, Plum, I'm trying to not get so horny on this channel. <laughs> you know I don't go horny on main, Plum. <laughs> what do you think? I have 70 alternative accounts? Okay, so, so, okay, so you got Gigafucker 1, Gigafucker 2. <laughs> no. <laughs> My hand's on the delete button. What you gonna do? <laughs> You fool. I have 26 alternative accounts. Crash, those are your gems. Anyways, I... Like, uh, I think I just go straight back into it just to get the, uh... Just to get the, uh... The Cortex yep, token. I can read as Lazo. Uh, okay, let's do this right. Oop. 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 Yeah, you have to... Wait for this to uh, get to one. Now, uh, this one's a bit trickier. 
Because you have to jump here. Ow. Take, I'll take it. That. Okay, so also that crate... Uh, you can, yeah, iron you crate. cannot break it. So it, iron crate? Yeah, they changed it to an iron crate. I don't know why, though. Like, it's a pointless crate. You might as well just uh, have it not be there or something. But hey, that Maybe is... Maybe it looked awkward without a crate being there. Mm hmm So, uh... No, oh, I'm not... Door. No. No. Uh, uh, but you don't want to go fumbling in the dark yet? No. I'm trying to... Why not? Uh, because I'm going to Cortex Power. Deal. Okay, I... Okay, Plum, we can start Ripto, uh, we can start Ripto, uh, transcribing later, but, uh... Eh, of course you, of course that snicker. Yeah, I, I turned to the side before de <laughs> Because if I went forward, I would have just fell fallen into the acid. Mm -hmm. And you're about to see it. Ah, uh, so much for invincibility. So you don't uh, get- Ooh! I know. At the very least, I get my one life back. And wait for it, and, uh... Like, this is one of the more open-ended levels of the game. Hmm. So, uh... Damn it. God damn it. There goes that one up. You're, awesome. you're, you're just gonna let him laugh at you like that? Unfortunately, yeah. But, uh... <laughs> of course. For God's sakes. Guess what? That doesn't happen just once, but twice. Smish. For God's sakes. And thrice, I think. Oh my god, get- oh. For God's sakes, Giga. Yeah, that that <laughs> that oh, top you part. Are serious? Yeah, I got shot. I my ass got shot. <laughs> okay, so now you skip ahead to the blue gym path. Okay. What have I got? It's just, it's just three splooshes and and a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> that is more hilarious than Wilhelm scream. It's just knowing when to use it. Ugh, that was close. Like, you do not want to carry invincibility when you're going across this pathway, because if you had invincibility, guess what? You try walking on the streets, you just go straight into the vat of acid. And especially on that, uh, especially on those TNT crates. Okay, wait. I always have a hard time with that, uh, with that jump, because you have to make a big leap, because... Not only do you have to jump over the fight, uh, the hot, uh, the hot pipes, but the cold pipe too, where you have to make sure that you don't, uh, that you don't go in between the electricity, and you have to backtrack too. Yeah, I because... forgot you're supposed to backtrack. If you're like, if you're lucky enough, ow! If you're lucky enough, like uh, you could probably get that one enemy in the right placement to hit that box, so that way you, you can just uh, skip all the backtracking. Ooh. Ooh. And this was a lot harder in the prototype when it had it had like the uh when it had the third person view than instead of the top down view. Let me get step perception. Oh yeah. Well there's that crate that I thought was a giant wumpa crate for some reason. Like how many wumpa for would it contain? Fifty or or twenty, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, baby steps. You just have to tap up on the D-pad. And I'm just gonna break all these because I just want to get the gem. You just don't care about the one fruit? Yeah, because I already have enough. But, uh... That's... Like, we do, uh... We do quite a bit of... Like, I think we do quite a bit of backtracking in this part because, uh... There's some, uh, gems that we do have to get. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, where do I go next? 
Oh yeah. Oh, you go back to one of these levels, man. Mm hmm. I uh, believe uh, I'm trying to figure out which one is which. And uh, yep, I was right. The we... path, right. Mm -hmm. oh, you just you just dropped down. Mm hmm. And then Cortex's face is there. Yeah. Be absolutely careful with this part. <laughs> Because it's so nerve-wracking. I believe there's like only one blue gem path there in Ensign Trilogy. Like it's like it's to take you uh, up and uh, down. I think I think I accidentally blew up the uh, Brio token or just like went away. Because this is an Ensign Trilogy. Yeah. So it's Ensign Trilogy, you'd be screwed because you gotta do that bonus level too. Yeah. I, like at the very least in Ensign Trilogy, I can die. So that way I can just get the uh, token again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is one they didn't think to like have actually have the checkpoints track what crates you've already destroyed. Mm -hmm. And I believe I go to upstream next because I have the orange gem. Um, uh, upstream there, uh, upstream there we go. So this is like I I instant warp to the very last uh, part of it, and this is the first part of it. I get Ooh. I get so nervous because of how the orange gem path the uh, platforms are. Because yeah, just they add more platforms in Insane Trilogy. I think the platforms are just bigger in Insane Trilogy. Yeah. <laughs> Because we're like around the end of the stage, and uh, there's like a bit of, uh, yeah, there, there's the platform you're supposed to get on for the end. So you just walk to it, you hop onto the uh, lily pad, and there will be two more crates that will await. And another, and another gold platform. Yeah. Well, or. Well, you have to uh, just make sure you time stuff right, otherwise that uh, that plant is going to eat you, or you're going to be too uh, too far away from the from the lily pad, and it's really nerve wracking. Ugh. Not gonna lie, because you have to do this. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of bass in in that uh, in that uh, track. <laughs> but yeah, there's uh, gem number 19, and I think that's about it for uh, backtracking because uh, we do two more colored gems, right? No, uh, yeah, yeah, we're actually missing two colored gems. We're missing the yellow gem from the lab and the purple gem from uh, from uh, lights out. Oh, so basically the the mind and power gems. Okay. Okay. Um, and here's when I realized, oh yeah, I missed this stage. Yeah, I'm sure you missed it. What are you gonna do with that hog crash? Go for a ride. For God's sakes. And I die a lot here. With the way you got launched off, it, so it sounded a bit anticlimactic. I, mean, I was I, expecting I, a, a bigger impact for that sound clip. I really wish I, I really wish I, uh, synced it better, or at least added another sound clip to it. Da. Yeah. Defeated by your own con, by your own, uh, by your own dead kind. Yeah, that's about to get roasted. Um, I mean, I. You better hope it's the it's a pro, it's a choice cut. Also, why are why are those native tribesmen faceless? Uh, they have mouths. Where I, I can barely see it. Mm. I, speaking of which, consider we have a lot. Uh, we have a lab assistant in CTR. Why don't we have the native tribesmen yet? Yeah, I would like to see the native tribesmen. Don't I miss the box? We also need the hog. Yeah, <laughs> like if we have the lab assistant, 
We need the drive spin and the hog. Yeah, the thing is, yeah, that's another thing. Why aren't people asking for the native tribesmen? Well, at the very least, I finally got the gem. Now imagine trying to get the gem in the uh, in the E three build, where it's like near impossible because of how many uh, how many like hazards there are in the E three prototype. Uh, what job is this? A clear job, okay. <laughs> Six more jumps. Mm hmm. Two of them colored. 80% out. 88%. 88 out. Excuse me. It's just 80%. Uh, were there any new levels that were introduced? Excuse me? <laughs> well, the now... prototype introduces some new levels that we that were never seen before. Mm hmm. Oh, you still don't want to go for- okay. I don't understand what the Japanese text says, so it doesn't scare me. Okay, okay, what- okay, what's that DW mean? Mean, because I feel like that's irrelevant. The what? The, the, the words where it's like, I can't read this, but I forgot what else was part of it. I don't know. Do you the... know what- what meme I'm talking about? No. Okay, I'm gonna look this up while you die fumbling in the dark. Uh, this beginning part alone, I did not like editing around those deaths. And I did not like going through this part because this beginning part is just a pain. Like, if you could get past it, all you have to worry about is just not dying in the oh, rest. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, the, yeah, the, the original text is... This, that sign can't stop me because I can't read. So basically, like, that title can't scare me because I can't read it. That's I mean, what I wanted to say. I can't read this because I don't know, uh... Because I don't know what it means. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that name doesn't scare me because I can't read. Oh, I think I know what it is. It's freaking, uh... What? Like, Arthur memes are... Are a uh, rare breed. Ah. The hell? What was that voice clip? It's Johnny. It's Johnny yelling fuck. It sounds like he's saying awk! <laughs> and boy, do I die a lot in this level. I was expecting to die way more in, uh, uh, in, uh, in the NPC playthrough, but I get it down to my third try. Which is something I wish I can do more often. Take less tries just to get it. Because mm -hmm. I hate this level. I really, really hate this level. Oh. At least the time locks aren't mandatory in NSYNC Trilogy. Yeah, I'd only go for them if I'm mad enough. Or insane, mind you. Yeah, but it's only in three where they're mandatory, right? Yeah, you need to get like ten of them. And, like, uh, if you want to get all the colored gems on the, uh, main trip, I do recommend you, uh, go for the vehicle levels, where you don't have a run button, so you can, like, uh, get the best optimal, uh, best optimal time, uh, from the get-go. So, like, if you want to just go for gold or, like, uh, go for platinum, uh, while, uh, while before the final boss, out. Have there any been, have there been people who attempted platinum relics without the run button? I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty because I'm pretty sure the I mean, like uh. Yeah, he just. It sounds like he's just saying ah. <laughs> I mean, it's a perfect reaction, but when you heard that other one. It means that it's the last death of the of the level. Eh, I'll take it. But it's oh, just. Oh yeah, remember that one pendulum that was swinging the wrong way? Oh yeah, and, like I remember everyone just reacting to that. It's just I'm glad I caught that on uh, on the like on the video because that's never gonna happen to me again. I'm not sure if it's ever happened to anyone else though. But it's just like it just spawned with it swinging in the wrong axis. Like, I don't know what it, I did, but, well, discoveries. Mm -hmm. Anyways, 
fuck that level. We're getting our gym, and uh, that should be it for part four. See us uh, next time for the finale to the Japanese playthrough and the finale to the Crash Bandicoot Let's Play as a whole. Yeah, there are the descri- now we're mm-hmm. currently 89% out. Yeah. Oh, God, now I can't unsee it. For f- <laughs> well, there are, the, there are links in the description below if you uh, wish to donate. And until then, we shall bid you adieu.